Shalom, shalom, brothers. Brother Kamal Mahar here back at it again. First thing first, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders on the Shukra from GMS. Blessings to the Aki, my dear preaching his word. Behold our true sincerity. Blessing 144,000 went there entirely. The first fruits, kingdom of heaven. Hasa David, W. Yav, Dawada. Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking in different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. Um, so today, brother, you know, I just pulled over to the side, you know, uh, you know, from giving daily bread. I wanted to get into, you know, the fact that, that you know, us, us, us hopeful elect, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians, you know, the servants, the prophets, the men, you know, we're the ones out here, you know, doing the work and, you know, giving, giving the heathen their, their judgment, starting off with Esau and also telling our people also, again, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians that, you know, they are the chosen, chosen people of the, of the, of the scriptures, Yasha Allah, the prince of the power, and that, you know, they have a homeland and a kingdom coming. And also, to, you know, to rebuke, and um, you know, and to let our, to, to tell our people what they're doing wrong, and look, do the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemuel Shah correct them, you know. So we, we're the ones standing up in order to to do so for our people, because you know, uh, wickedness has prevailed here on a high level, and so you know, because that is who's going to be righteous enough to, you know, stand up for the right thing, and um, you know, and, and make things right through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shah, because through the Holy Spirit of Rakak with Dash. You know that uh, it gives us brothers the words to speak, and also uh, through the Spirit, um, the understanding of the Scriptures, in order for us to rebuke and you know and um, correct. You know, um, I'm out, you know I'm start with um, first precept. Um, matter of fact, no, I, I start with Isaiah. Is uh, Isaiah 29? Isaiah 29, and uh, I'm going go 20 and 21. It says, it says, for the terrible one is brought to naught. And the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off, right? As we, you know, ultimately going for it. But it says that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught, right? Because what, what's going on, and we when we speak this word, you know, it turns into what hate speech, or you know, we're, you know, we're, we're I don't know, I don't know what you want to call racist, or we're, we're you know we're terrible people, you know, the delivery is is off. Um, and because they're they're the stumbling block is, is is Christianity, man. They they're they're stuck in these um, you know these 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 other philosophies and other gods, man. And that's what's the, that's the that's giving them their demise and that's ultimately their downfall. That's why the Lord got us out there to speak to the people. You know, even though you know two thirds of the people ain't gonna get it, and we're going after the elect, but we still gotta you know preach the word to everybody. You know, at least you know off a fair, off a fair you know solid ground. You know what I mean? Like it's you know we told you. And then, you know, like Matthew's, what, 10, 13 says, you know, uh, dust your feet off or your hands or whatever. I will say, you know, if they don't want to receive you, then fine. Cool. You told them. Now the blood's off your hands. But but we risking our lives, you know, every, you know, every, you know, every week, you know, week in and week out, you know what I mean, to tell our people what's going on. And this is a dangerous work. And, and when we preach what we preach and teach what we teach, it comes out really strong and it can, you know, ultimately, you know, you know, vainly speaking, you know the Lord. The Lord is, in, you know, two or three in the, in the, in the name of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. You know, will send His angel to have charge upon thee. But the people will be very frustrated and very upset. That's why they kill Yahweh Shai. You know, they, they they didn't, you know, they, they didn't like what he said, even though he was set up to be that lamb. But hey, they, they did not like what he said. And, and that's a cut to Christianity with that Joe Smo Christianity. Because if, if it was everything was all love, they wouldn't touch Yahweh Shai. As far as as far as what they say that he was saying, the words that he was speaking, so called, they wouldn't touch Yahweh Shah. It'd have been it'd have been rainbows and lollipops, but no, this is what happened. Yahweh Shah right here. It says, "I'm gonna go to 21." It says that make a man offender. Yeah, they, they they're, they're offended, and and the scriptures say, "Blesses the man that's not offended," and that's what they are. They're offended at what we say. Esau is going to slavery, right, and all, along with the other heathen. Um, you know, this truth is only for so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians. The Gentiles are not not the heathen. They're Israelites who who uh, who don't know who they are, and 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 they and they follow under these dumb idols, which make them Gentiles. And that the and that the New Testament is talking about the Israelites only. They don't like that. It's very offensive. Very offensive. But hey, we're speaking the truth and what it is, and we're gonna bring it out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. So it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But we the ones standing up for the for the righteousness sake in general, and we're the one. And the Lord said, "Go on the highways and hedges and bid them to the marriage." That's exactly what we're doing. 
regardless of whatever they got to say, we're going to keep saying we're going to say through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. They can try to lay a snare all they want, but we're going to preach this word. And hey, if we were set up, you know, as martyrs, hey, then so be it. That's how we feel about it. Because all, 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 all this is, um, it's pretty much, you know, um, set up from from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So whatever, whatever is meant to be will happen, and it's going it's going to go down just like that. We're just going to continue to preach this word. But they hate us that for the ones who who who, who, who rebuke at the gate, you know. And they lay a snare for him that reprove of in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Yeah, they they not feeling that, but hey, it is what it is. That's why in Isaiah. Um, 58 The Lord told us this It says uh, Okay so this 29 I look for 58 But this is doing me dirty Like okay now see look it says 57 And and it, it won't give me 58 Ain't that some Hold on let me see something real quick I, I, seen, I have seen that before Okay later And then there, that's probably right there Okay Isaiah 58 and 1 It says cry aloud spirit not Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of J Jacob their sins. Right. The Lord says, spare not. Go right at them. Let them know, let them know what it is and let them know what they're doing wrong. So so that so, so, so that they so they can have a, a, a opportunity to repent. If they do repent, or if the Lord allow them to repent. But we're gonna talk, we're gonna tell everybody of our people to repent because um, it's a high time we gotta sleep. And the, and, the, and the kingdom of heaven is nearer than we believe Or salvation is nearer than we believe Which ultimately the kingdom of heaven You see what I'm saying So That's how this thing go We're not going to spare nothing man We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna let our people know And we're going to stand up for the, We're going to stand up against the evildoers No, no matter what Because the evildoers are the ones who saying all these things that we're doing wrong So called You know Like What's this uh, John John 7 and 7. Let me go ahead and put this on Do Not Stirred just so that way I can. Uh, uh, John 7 and 7 says, The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. You see that? That's why. So when you testifying against an evil, that is going to cause some problems or oppositions. People do not like to be told what they're doing wrong. Let alone our people. So, you know what I mean? You ain't supposed to be doing this, ain't supposed to be doing that. Well, they ain't what you're supposed to be doing. And they don't want to hear that because they rather smooth things rather than um and rather be told lies and deceit. Rather than the rather than uh, what you call the the ugly and brutal truth of what it is. Pe people do not like the truth because it does what you would call hurt. That's why it says that um That's why it says in uh in Hebrews um I believe it's Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews. Um, four and twelve. It says, "For the word of Yahweh Shemayim is quick and powerful, and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart." Right. That's the problem. That's why when Yahweh Shah was testifying of it that the works thereof are evil, they, he was cutting them up. Through the scriptures And it was And it was making them Feel some type of way Let alone They couldn't accept The fact that he was He was the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah himself And they couldn't even They couldn't take that in They were offended You see what I'm saying That's what That's what's going on It's the truth But who gonna stand up I mean Yahweh Shah Was gonna do it He was a He the bad He was the baddest man walking You know So you know It's it, it, it just one of them things Where you know, we we know this. this it's gonna go down like that. But hey, you know, hey, the Lord, the Lord said He hated the hate of me, so that way they hated you, because I testified that the works thereof are evil. It's just, it's just that simple. You know, what's that? Uh, Amos. Amos five and ten. It says. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Right. And why is that, man? You know what I'm Because, look, our society is, is following the doctrine and the philosophies of Esau, right? Whatever, whatever, whatever the Lord said wasn't good, Esau made it 
made it legal and appropriate. You know, I mean, crab strip and lobster delicacies, you know, allow the music to be full of adultery in all ways. They got they allow freedom of religions, you know, freedom of speech. You can say what you want, do what you want, and wreak havoc on 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 on, on the the true doctrine. Of Yahabashim Now I'm not saying wreak havoc like that, but at least they wreak havoc on the minds of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians, that, that it's okay to worship other gods, and the Lord said not to. You know what I'm saying? Thou shalt not worship no gods before me. That was a commandment. And look what our people are doing. They're worshiping all types of other gods. And so now we're the the service, the prophets, we're the ones, you know, at the gates. At the, at the uh, top chief comp concourse, you know, and we're telling our people that they're going off and, they, and they're doing wrong. Oh my gosh, they don't like that, especially when they're gun ho and they're die hard for their so-called religion. And then you tell them that their God is fake, and, and that they're ultimately doing what they're doing for no reason at all. Yeah, that's gonna sting, man. Oh, that's gonna sting, and they, and and that will cause them to hate you at the gate because they like what they do. And they rather do their own thing rather than Yahweh Shem Shah. And remember, it's very, very convenient and simple. That's why it says, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity? It's for the reason why they're doing that. And remind you, when you come into this truth, it requires what you call change. It's a lot of things you got to stop doing when you come into this truth, when you finally understand what the truth is all about. And then, and then whatever that they're doing, they're happy to do, maybe because it's fun, it's convenient. Um, and hey, again, it's enjoyable and it's very, very simple to do. So now, when you come, and then you, and then you, like, like I said, it's, it's enjoyable. So now, now it's enjoyable. You, you want to continue to do the things that, that that pleases the flesh. You know, other philosophies, dealing with another man's woman, willingly, at, at least at that. You know, and you know it, and all other folly that comes with with this with this wicked kingdom, man. And so when you find out what the truth is, hey, you know what? You're supposed to be doing that. Ah, now it's a problem now. So the understanding and, and having the true fear of the Lord, that's when things go bad. Because when you have no fear of the Lord, you, 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 you're not, you're not going to repent. Because we, we all go off still. But you're not going to repent and you're not going to try to get back up and, and, and get back to the correct situation. Nah, man, you know what I mean? I hear what you're saying, but I can't have enough of my bacon, man. I need my bacon. The Lord said not to. So now now, now, when we rebuke at the gates and say that you're going to fuck off and the Lord kill you for some bacon, yeah, he would. Yeah, actually, he would. The Lord get you out of here or with some damn bacon. That's a damn scripture, I believe. It's an abominable fool, man. But as soon as we rebuke at the gate about it, now it's a problem, which I expect so. Because you, you don't know by like to be told about themselves. That's why I said it's a rebellious and a stiff neck people. You know? And that's just and, that, and, and that's just the name of the game, man. Uh what's that? The book of Psalms. Psalms uh 94 and 16. It says, Who will rise up against 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 the evildoers? No, who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Well, you, you know the answer to that. You know, me and, and like-minded other brothers, you know, we're in, we're in groups of threes, some single, twos, fours, eights. My camp is about eight. And, you know, and we're all over the world in camps under the doctrine of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah from, from Apostle Tahar on down. You know, that's the right doctrine. Those are the brothers that are, that's going to rebuke at the gates. And amongst hundreds of people, millions of people on the internet, they hear these things, and we're the, one, we're the ones that are going to stand up, stand up for Yahabashim Yamashah and do the work of the Lord. We're the ones that are going to do it, the servants, the prophets. That's who's going to do it. And the Lord got a spirit on us to do so because remember, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So if, if, if you are, if you have the spirit of a prophet, well, you best believe you're going to be in a prophet position. That's how that goes. So that's, that's who's going to stand up for the, for the, um, for these evildoers. 
that's how it's gonna happen, and that's who's gonna do it. And they're gonna, and we we understand we, they are gonna hate us for it because we we rebuke at the gates. Matter of fact, what's that, John? Um, John fifteen. 18 if the world hates you ye know that it hated me before it hated you and if ye were of the world the world will love his own but because ye because ye are not of the world but i have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hateth you remember the word that i said unto you the servant is not greater than his, than his master than his lord if they have persecuted me they will also persecute you if they have kept my saying they will keep yours also you see that? And that's exactly what we go up against on a multiple day basis. They is not trying to hear the service to prophets at all because it's a situation that they don't want to hear. Why? Because just like Yahweh Shah did, we are testifying against this world that the works thereof are evil. And you telling somebody they're doing wickedly, oh man. That's why I said, um, what's that, Isaiah the 29th chapter? They, they are offended for a word right God gonna kill you for something like that oh man hmm. they not trying to hear that not at all not at all and it's okay nah it's not okay but we told them we told them the spirit of the Lord was on us there's certain people that's that, that's, that come up to the camp and be told to write names what's right and what's wrong through the scriptures and if they can't receive it, they can't receive it. But at the end of the day, though, if they keep on continuing with their folly, just know there's no more cloak for them sins, man. If they had if, if they had not come, there'd be no more cloak for their sins. Well, it's my well, Yahweh Shah is saying if he had not come, there you know they will keep on sinning, and now there'll be no more cloak for their sins, right? That's the whole drift of this thing, man. You know. And it just, you know, it is what it is, man. So, Abarat Desai, wanted to quick hit that, you know, get back on the road. Um, Lord, Lord willing, this is edifying to you, brothers. I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Kakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be exist, by Shem in the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Shem in the name, and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, I learned the truth from GMS. Blessings to the Akimah, they preaching his word. Oh, to sincerity. Blessings to 144,000, one third entirely, the elect. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, Asa David, that be Yafta would die. And Shalom to you, brothers out there, also, is doing his work, speaking in different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers.